So with the mill power control, this is the DRO display, and you can still move the machine manually. We don't take away from the manual milling capabilities of the machine tool. In the conversational programming side of it, here you would go to the program mode, and this is where you would enter the data in to create a program. And I'll just create a simple program for you to show you how intuitive the control actually is. You would start off the program by putting a tool in. So the first thing that you would do is select the tool key. It opens up a form. And as a minimum requirement, you have to enter in a diameter. And this is for cutter compensation uh, when you're running the part program. So for this example, I'll just use a quarter inch tool. We have other options that are available in here. You could select a tool type, a plunge angle. If the control is connected to the machine that has an inverter driven spindle, we can also put spindle speed in here as well. But I'll just go ahead and press the use key. That becomes the first step of my program. Now if I wanted to mill a line, I'd press the mill line key. And I'm just filling in the blanks. Where does that line start from? Where does it go to? Your Z begin, the end point, your Z axis feed rate. Down here you're defining your offset, so it's left, center, or right. That's the cutter compensation. And then how fast do you want to machine that line? We'll say 35 inches a minute. If I use that information, you get instant graphics. So you see that line that you've programmed right away. Now maybe I want to do an arc, so I press the arc key. It gives me the end point of the line where I left off. I just have to tell it where I'm going to with this arc. My Z axis stays the same. Maybe the radius of this arc is one inch. And then is it counterclockwise or clockwise in the machine direction? If I press use, there's that arc. To complete this cycle, maybe I just want to machine another line back down to zero. Then perhaps I would change my tool because I want to drill some holes. So I put a 100,000 inch drill in there. I would select holes to create a hole pattern. It's asking me what type of hole pattern do I want to create? Maybe it's a bolt circle. So now it's asking me for the hole pattern, where's the center of that hole pattern? What's the Z axis information of that hole pattern? The feed rate in which you want to drill these holes. What's the radius of the hole pattern? Direction and how you want to drill those holes out is either clockwise or counterclockwise. How many holes do you have? Here you can define a start angle and an end angle. And if I press use, you get a whole pattern that looks like that. What's nice about these graphics is if you make a mistake, it's very easy to edit that. You would just highlight the step that you made the mistake on, press the enter key, and here I would need to change the direction. And if I use that, now I have these holes in the right location, the right orientation, according to the part that I'm programming. Maybe you want to repeat this. You got three vices on the machine, uh, it's quite simple to do that. You go to program steps here and under the repeat rotate mirror uh, step here, you would select the repeat and it just asks you to identify what's the range that you want to repeat. First step is one, last step is six. Is it a linear offset? What's the offset in the X axis? In this case, we'll say that it's 4.5 inches from one vice to the next. And maybe we want two more of them. So we press the use key and graphically you see those additional two parts that you just programmed. I'll highlight that and delete that step because maybe you want to do a rotate. So it's the same process. You want to rotate this part. So program, repeat, rotate, we're going to do a rotate. And again, it's the same process. What steps do you want to rotate? First step is one, last step is six. Where's the center of rotation? What angle do you want to rotate at? and how many more of those parts do you want? So you get something like that. So that's just a very basic mill power program. Kent USA, your provider for quality machine tools and services